Hi hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to send messages from server to client using Signal. I mean WebSocket. All right. So uh, first, I'll do a little demo, and then I'll show you I mean, like how I have done that. So little code walkthrough. All right. So as you can see on my screen, left side I am running a Angular client application, and the right side is nothing but a .NET Core application. All right. So I should be able to send messages from this uh, this uh, .NET Core to this client. All right. So let let's go through the demo first. So I'll refresh this so that it will create a new connection. So you can see the connection is created and this is the connection ID. So connection, I'll just uh, explain you first. I'll complete this one. You can see the connection is connected. And then once the connection is done, I have to send some ID from, it's not meant, but yeah, just if you want, if you want to send a specific message from server to client, we, then in that case, we need this ID. All right. So you can see that you can say our updated user ID. Done. <clears throat> that means the connection is established now. Now we are in a place to send message from server to the client. So there are two ways to that. You can send message, a global message, which will go to all the client in one shot, or you can send a specific message. <clears throat> so for example, if you want to send a message to all, you simply say, hi, I mean like just the message I typed, but it will go to all the clients. You can see it came here, hi, and I'll release this debugger. Now let me uh, show you this how it will go to all the clients. So what I'll do, I'll duplicate this tab. So which is nothing but it will create a new client. So now there are two users, client A, client B. Let me open the debugger for this also. All right. So for this also connection might have created. Yeah, you can see it's done. Now what you can do, let's, let's send the message again. So see, first it came to tab one. Hi, I'll release the debugger. The same you should be able to see in here also. Right? So this time message is sent to all. Now I'll show you how to send a message to a specific client. That means there are two tabs here. First, my bad. Let me duplicate this side. <coughs> client A and Client B. So let's say if you want to send a message to this tab only. So what you need to do, you need to have this connection ID. So ID server might be saving this connection so that they can send them a specific message directly. But just to show you a demo, I am just printing that. So that is why I can copy at any time to send a message. So let's try that. I uh, pasted the connection ID. So it will go to this tab only. You can see. And I'll type something. Say new message. Hello. And you can see message came to this tab only. <laughs> Alright, so now let's go back to tab 1. There is no message because we have sent two messages to client B only. Alright, so now let's try this client. For that I need a connection string. I mean the connection ID. Copy that. Paste. Change the message. You can see it came to the tab 1 only. Hello. Alright. So this is all about how to send a message from server to client. And there is one more thing. <coughs> There is a high chance like your connection might disconnect right so we should have something called retry logic so for that you can use something like you can put a um, you can listen to this method on close and you can restart the connection again in case if the server is going or because of the network show i'll show you this how it will work what i can do i can stop this application the moment i'll start first before that i'll let me close this so that it won't so many debuggers will be there otherwise and before stopping i'll just put a debugger here now one second i want to shoot this method also duplicate this method now when i close the client right it will call a disconnect method so that you can do some cleanup activity on the server if you want to do that so i'll close this client you can see that only it's going on disconnect method okay so that time if you want to do some cleanup for that particular client you can do that so this is one thing i want to show now let's just stop the service the moment i stop the service this method will be invoked because the service is gone so automatically it will be on close will be called from the client side also right let's close this you can see debugger came here on the client now what it will do it will keep on trying if you see here my bad i think i press f5 here now the connection is the service is started again so what it will do it will try to reconnect the connection again i'll say f5 you can see if I go to the console, this is the old connection string. <coughs> you can see these are the old one and the and this is the new one. Connection. You can see connection restarted. And here is try to restart connection. So 
this can be achieved by this method you just need to listen to this on close method all right now let's go through the code for that i'll just maximize this one stop the service if you don't need that so close off first let's go to startup you just need to have uh, one uh, call this method service dot x at signal and then and you will be able to add until when you should have this library i'll show you <coughs> this one microsoft dot asp dot net core dot signal once you add that you should be able to call this method service dot add signal that's it nothing much all right it's very simple and on the below method in the config method you need to set the endpoint on which you have not this one sorry this one on which endpoint the client will be able to connect so i am just saying slash push notification so i'll go to the client port you can see the same thing <clears throat> this is simple ip port and then slash push notification because i have typed the same here okay this is all about binding now let's go into signal this is nothing but hub method this method will be called on at the time of the connection is made and this method will be called at the time of when the client is uh, you know disconnected and this method when they want when the client wants to send from i mean message from client to the server this basically we used to do the binding as i told you right so that the server can save that id i mean they can map the id user id with the connection string so in future if they want to send a specific message to that particular connection using the client id and the connection list combination they can send a message to that guy all right <clears throat> this is all about the bindings now i'll show you how i was able to send message to all and the specific client so for that you just need to call this method hub this is nothing but this ies mm -hmm. i hub context use the same method and you simply say clients dot all when you use dot all it will send message to all and when you say client dot client clients dot client and give that connection id then it will send to that particular message to that particular uh, uh, client all right <clears throat> now on which the client will be listening that method name you have to type over here so as you can see i'm just saying it just a public message method name private message method name <coughs> let's go to client this is just the uh, url on which you have to build the connection once the connection is done you just need to keep on listening to uh, this uh, some particular math, method name which i showed you on the server right like public message method name private private message method name <coughs> It is a string. So, how many you have? You put them like dot connection dot on, hub connection dot on, and put the method name, and it will be coming from the server. Simple, cool. And if you want to, in some case, if you want to stop the client by some uh, like from server or from client on maybe on button press or something, you can make use of this method, hub dot stop. So it will stop the client itself. All right. So that's pretty much all about Signal. I will add the link uh, where I will be I mean, the code will be available. I will put the link in the description below. All right. Thanks very much. Have you all have a good time.